Now these little guys have been boiling for five minutes in salted water and I'll tell you my number one tip, boil them in two different pans. So in here, clean water and any rubbish that's on the shelves or anything like that has been removed in here. Two more minutes then under the cold tap to cool down. Meanwhile, I'll get my pasta on. Now we're going to run those under cold water till they're completely chilled, I would say for about six or seven minutes. Let's get some of these beautiful little ripe vine cherry tomatoes going. And this dish is wonderful. I, I, I learned to cook this dish years and years ago when I worked in France. Okay, I'm going to chop some garlic. And now you're going to think there's too much garlic in this dish, but you know what? There isn't. I'm going to take a single one of these hot red bird's eye chilies. And these are hot little suckers. It does help a little bit removing, the, removing those seeds. Okay, now this is an induction hob. I, I love induction. I use it at the Game and Wild Food Cookery School. Particularly, I like these ones made by a company called The Dietrich. They make fantastic induction gear. It's very slick, it's very sort of out of the way. You can use it as a work surface as well. And wow, that's hot. Olive oil, a lake of olive oil. And into the olive oil, the chilies and all that garlic. Cherry tomatoes. Make sure the heat's not too high. The idea is to infuse that garlic and soften it. Good. Now here are my peeled and clean crayfish. And all I'm gonna do is rip off the tails and the claws. Heads go in the bin, but the tails and the claws, fabulous. What you do is you take the crayfish tail like that and you squeeze the edges together and they break in the middle. You then peel them apart like that, and slip the little beggar out, and there you are. Now here's the big tip. Get a hold of it and peel it backwards, and there is the whole pipe full of nastiness that we don't want. That is what we're left with. Now when you get a really big crayfish like this, break off the claw, pull the lower part of the claw out until you break it, and put the claw down on the board, using the heel of your knife and you can break them and then you're very careful out comes the beautiful claw meat okay we're nearly done on this dish we're just going to grab a nice handful of beautiful wild garlic parsley I'm going to take some lemon and I'm going to put some lemon zest in there for freshy sharpness, like so. Just cut myself a little bit of lemon. Good little tip for you, put the cut sides of the lemon down in your hands and just squeeze. Pips stay in, juice goes out, just what we want. I need some white wine. Haven't got any white wine, we drank it all. What I have got, astonishingly, is half a bottle of rather nice champagne. Oh, you beauty, look at that. There, and now I'm gonna bring it up to heat and really give it some. And I'm gonna quickly reduce almost all that liquid away. Okay, I'm gonna season this. Quite a lot of salt and pepper, actually. And I've gotta say, this is not a rough, rustic, riverside boil of crayfish. This is a really elegant little dish. You could serve this in the best restaurant on the land to the finest people. Look at that, lovely and rich and thick. Holy moly. Okay, let's get everything here together. And here we go. In with all that lovely greenery. That's the crayfish themselves, the wild garlic. Oh my goodness, look at the colors in there. And before we lose color, take the linguine. In this case, it's actually spaghetti. Give it a good mix. And straight into a lovely big bowl. Pile loads of crayfish up on top so we can see what we're eating. A last little drizzle there of wonderful sauce. And to me, that is the river in the springtime in England. Crayfish and wild garlic. What could be better?